So whippets are started as a culinary. It's a nitrous oxide um, cartridge and you find it, or the larger ones, in the culinary aisle. It's, it's a big thing that makes this lovely whipped cream frosting, and so it attaches to a dispenser and flavors, and it was a big thing. Unfortunately, it's nitrous oxide, and it's been found to um, be abused by people getting a high. And so the concern is that it, um, is becoming an issue of abuse with kids. So um, locally, we have seen some establishments that have miniature whippets, they're very small. There is no way that could be used to whip whipped cream. They're too much too small, but they're very convenient size to put a balloon on it, put the nitrous oxygen in, and then it could be inhaled. And so they're not illegal, right? They're not illegal at this point. Our health agent, Sherry, is very interested in um, wanting to look into perhaps making it illegal to sell under the age of 18 or 21. Um, there have been some towns that have done that. It's just starting. Yeah, I reached yeah. out to the police, the fire, the um, the police, the chief of uh, police responded back that they haven't had many um, complaints or calls about it. The fire chief said that they really haven't gone to do any visits, but he is more than happy to um, be involved with an awareness campaign that you know parents need to be aware because um, he he found this article, eleven facts you need to know. You know, people think that it's safe because it's being sold, you know, for whipped cream, and they don't realize that it's also addictive. So on number seven, it can be life-threatening, and a continuous inhalation of it deprives the brain of oxygen, and it can cause problems, brain damage, and all kinds of abuse. And then number six, it also can damage your organs if somebody has a continuous addiction to it, particularly with younger people. Um, it, this is something of concern. And then the signs of abuse, and it, abuse is treatable. It's actually um, on the list of um, top ten uh, items of abuse for kids. They're being sold in some of the stores in town, and they're sold and no, not behind the counter, in, in, the, in front of the counter. Primly, you and Sherry, if you decide that you want to ban these things, I, you know, I don't, I don't have an issue with that. That's just me speaking for myself. Okay. Thank you. 